What's up everybody? Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick video on the uh, new Samsung Galaxy Note 4. We're going to be doing an unboxing of this phone and then we're going to go into some uh, some of its advanced features which are listed at the back of the uh, packaging itself. Uh, so let's begin uh, with the uh, unboxing itself. Let's see what's included with, with the phone. Um, so here is the phone itself. That's the front of the phone some of the advanced features the back of the phone the camera flashlight heartbeat sensor Samsung logo and the uh, speakers itself the S Pen so this is more advanced it has up to 200 times more pressure points added to it um, and uh, fields uh, they've, they've made it feel more realistic so as if you're using an actual pen um, that's the uh, right side of the phone itself, the volume up and down keys. And that's the uh, left side of the phone, the power on button itself. That's the bottom of the phone uh, with the uh, USB 2.0 and fast charging option, so it charges much faster, but they've downgraded it to 2.0 rather than 3.0. And up here is it's the uh, audio jack in. So that's the phone set aside. Let's see what else is included. So here is the uh, quick start guide. For those of us, uh, not many of us probably need this, but those who are unsure of this phone can probably have a look into this. The yeah, USB 2.0 fast charge cable, pretty ne neatly packaged. Here's the earphones. Which are exactly the same as the uh, previous uh, previous versions of the other models. Some more uh, tips for the uh, S Pen itself. So if you want to uh, take that out and replace it to a different one, or if you lose this one, or if it, if it gets damaged, so you have the option of up to uh, five or six in here. I believe I think it's five. Uh, so you can change it up to five times. Um, some more earbuds, so you can uh, suit it. Uh, you can change it if you, according to your ear size. And that's the uh, mains adapter for it. Same as the uh, previous model one and one for Samsung Galaxy S5. And there is the uh, battery itself. So that is what's included in the box, with the, uh, along with the phone itself. Um, so we'll just go over uh, the, the phone and, and some of its advanced features. So it has a 5.7 inches Quad HD Super AMOLED display. So it gives out uh, 2K resolution, I believe it is. And you're able to see uh, pictures uh, and images in uh, precise colors and much higher contrast. So as if you're looking at something in, in real life with your naked eye or something. Uh, next up is a superb camera that's included with it, which is 16 megapixel, but has a smart OIS feature, which now uh, enables it to be uh, automatically adjust itself according to uh, darker environments or uh, brighter environments, uh, ultimately giving us a bright and clear image with this advanced feature on the uh, camera itself. Um, also comes with the ultimate selfie for the front-facing camera, which is 3.7 megapixels now. It is higher than uh, most of the phones uh, that we have these days, and also from the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, which I believe comes with 2.2 megapixel facing camera, front-facing camera. So you can get a much more ultimate selfie now if you take it with the front camera rather than uh, trying to use the uh, back camera. Also the uh, enhanced S Pen feature. Uh, which uh, Samsung have tried to make it uh, feel more realistic in your hands, so as if you were, you were to use an actual pen. Um, fast charging, so uh, they've removed the option for USB uh, 3.0, they've added USB 2.0, but has given it the uh, quick charge um, feature, which, uh, which is 30% faster than the uh, previous generation. Um, so, I mean, you're able to charge your phone uh, from zero to fifty, uh, zero to fifty percent in thirty minutes, um, and and roughly an hour to charge it at a hundred percent. 
the phone itself, uh, the, the back the back has a leather feel to it, which is integrated into the back back cover itself. Um, camera is in the same spot as the uh, Samsung S5. Uh, I believe that is the uh, heartbeat sensor, and that's the uh, flashlight right there. Um, from the edges, I mean, it feels does feel uh, it feels much much more durable. Uh, it has a really expensive feel to it. Uh, I mean, it feels like holding a luxurious device in your hand. Some something similar to the uh, iPhone itself. Uh, so I mean, they've, they've tried to follow the steps steps of the iPhone, and I mean, I'm trying trying to give you more for what you're paying. So I mean, uh, rather than paying 500 pounds for something that's plasticky, uh, now we're actually getting to feel uh, the phone itself. So I mean, like. Um, the, the quality has certainly increased in this phone. Um, it's a nice, nice, nice looking device as well. Um, certainly is light in weight as well, and it's not that thick either, so you're able to hold it in one hand and able to use it. Yeah, definitely use it in one hand. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you're if you were to take a picture with it, you would definitely need to use two hands because it's quite big. Um, and other than that, it's a pretty cool phone. Yeah. So, hope this, this video has helped you guys out. Um, if it helped, please do subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any further questions. I'll do all my best to get back to it. And make sure to subscribe. Peace out. Was it even recording? I think it was. It just disconnected, I think. So do you reckon it just uh, didn't even record? It's even having a problem connecting to the device. Fuck. I don't like this night. I don't even know if it's charging or not. But this is charging it, isn't it? It's supposed to be charging it. Yeah, the red means it's charging. No, red doesn't mean it's... Yeah, it means it's charging.